Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on antiarrhythmic drugs. Antiarrhythmic drugs are medications used to treat abnormal heart rhythms, also known as cardiac arrhythmias. These drugs work by either suppressing or preventing the abnormal electrical activity in the heart that causes arrhythmias. There are four main classes of antiarrhythmic drugs. Class 1 drugs block sodium channels in the heart, which slows the conduction of electrical impulses and can help restore a normal heart rhythm. Examples include lidocaine and quinidine. Class 2 drugs are beta blockers, which slow the heart rate and reduce the workload on the heart. This can help prevent arrhythmias caused by stress or physical activity. Examples include propranolol and metoprolol. Class 3 drugs block potassium channels in the heart, which prolongs the repolarization phase of the cardiac cycle and can help restore a normal heart rhythm. Examples include amiodarone and sodalol. Whereas class 4 drugs are calcium channel blockers, which slow the movement of calcium into the heart muscle cells, reducing the force of heart contractions, and helping to control heart rate. Examples include verapamil and diltiazem. Another antiarrhythmic drug is cardiac glycoside, an example of this class is digoxin. Digoxin inhibits the sodium-potassium ATP ass pump on cardiac myocytes, leading indirectly to an increase in intracellular calcium and causing a positive enotropic effect. It also increases vagal activity via a central effect, thereby slowing conduction through the AV node. Digoxin is indicated in rate control in atrial fibrillation and heart failure. For its adverse drug reactions, common effects include anorexia, nausea, vomiting, altered color vision, drowsiness, and confusion. Cardiac manifestations include bradycardia, increased ectopy, and atrial and ventricular tachyrhythmias. The adverse effects of digoxin are all more common in the presence of hypokalemia or renal impairment. Measurement of plasma digoxin concentration, at least 6 hours post-dose, helps to confirm toxicity. If confirmed, treatment entails discontinuation of the drug, correction of hypokalemia, and in severe cases, administration of digoxin-specific antibody fragments. Digoxin is contraindicated in Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, second or third degree AV block, and hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Next, we look at amiodarone, a very commonly used antiarrhythmic drug, which is in the class 3, potassium channel blockers. It blocks potassium channels to prolong cardiac repolarization. Amiodarone has a very long half-life and requires many weeks to achieve steady state. It is indicated in atrial fibrillation and ventricular arrhythmias. It has many adverse drug reactions, which include GI upset, hepatitis, bradycardia, pulmonary infiltrates, hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, reversible corneal microdeposits, phototoxicity, and persistent slate gray skin discoloration. Patients should have liver and thyroid function tests reviewed. They should also be warned about phototoxicity and the need to protect their skin from sunlight. That's all for this video. Thank you.